Hi, Sal, I've got your, quick, or your test here, so let's go over the questions that you missed. Uh, the first one says, on a number line, a number B is located the same distance from zero as another number A, but in opposite direction. The number B varies directly with the number A, so for example, B is 2 and 3 fourths when A is negative 2 and 3 fourths, so which equation represents the direct variation between A and B? So in this case, um, Uh, so in this case, we're looking through the list of options. So the option that you picked, let's take a look at it, that B minus A is 0. So if we were to take this 2 and 3 fourths and subtract A, which is negative 2 and 3 fourths, um, you put that that would equal 0. <clears throat> you have to be careful here, though, because A is negative. So when you subtract a negative, you're actually adding a positive. Uh, so that is not going to be zero. This answer choice does not work. Um, if we look at the correct answer choice, if B is 2 and 3 fourths, and then negative A, remember again, A is negative, so you're taking a negative negative, that's going to make it positive, so we would get 2 and 3 fourths equals 2 and 3 fourths, and that answer is correct. The next question is about converting um, linear equations and writing them in standard form. Um, so when we start with this equation, 4x minus 2 thirds y equals 8. And your first step here is correct. We need to multiply uh, both sides of the equation by 3 because we got to get rid of that fraction. In standard form, uh, linear equations cannot have fractions in them, so multiplying by the denominator will get rid of that. So we get 12x minus uh, 2y, since the 3 cancels out with the multiplying by 3, and 8 times 3 is 24. And this is where you stopped. Um, we're going to go one step further, though, because <coughs> all of these numbers are divisible by 2. So that's what we'd, we want to see here, is to divide everything by 2 to give us 6x minus y equals 12. And that was that second option that after we multiply everything by 3, then we divide both sides by 2. So I guess in a case like this, always just double check that at the end in standard form, there's not a factor that you can divide everything by evenly. Um, so that is it, it is you know, in simplest form, I guess we would call that. Question 20 um, asks what the slope of the line, uh, what is the slope of the line represented by the equation f of t equals 2t minus 6? It's interesting, they ask for the slope and then the answer choices are to give the slope and the y-intercept. So if you notice the difference between your equation or your answer and the correct answer, you do have the slope is right. Um, and we can write this in the standard form, or not standard form, but general form y equals mx plus b. m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So the number in front of the variable, that's the 2. Um, so that is the slope. But the y-intercept, we do have to take into account this sign that's in front of that 6. So that because it says minus 6, that means that the y-intercept is negative. So it would be this answer choice here. Question 22, <coughs> tickets to a basketball game can be ordered online for a set price per ticket plus a $5.50 service fee. The total cost in dollars for ordering five tickets is $108. Which linear function represents C, the total cost, when X tickets are ordered? The service fee is a single fee applied to the total no matter how many or no matter the number of tickets purchased. So in this case, um, you do have the 550 correct, that is that initial fee. Um, but what we have to remember is that in our total cost, that fee is in there. So the first thing we have to do is subtract out $5.50. And that's going to leave us with $102.50 is what we spent on tickets. So now we're going to do $102.50. Uh, divided by 5, that's going to give us the cost per ticket. And I think you just didn't subtract out the 550 from the 108. Um, and so you have a little bit more of an expensive ticket cost. But 102.50 divided by 5 
is $20.50 per ticket, uh, which is going to be this answer here. Again, your choice, the 2160, comes from taking 108, dividing it by 5. You just forgot to subtract out that, that one-time service fee first because that was included in this price here. So good job overall. Um, if you have any other questions, please reach out. Have a good day.